Welcome to the Jay Gray's Report College Football Weekly Wrap-Up Week 13. Y'all know how we get it in, so let's get it in. Wrapping up the top five ball games of the weekend, so let's get right to it. Let's go out to the Big Ten. Well, number 19, Wisconsin, goes to number 25, Minnesota. Now, they playing for old Doug Paul Bunyan's axe, and Wisconsin beats the doors off these duds, 20-7, just like I said they would. I mean, it's getting so bad in this doggone rivalry. You don't even call it a rivalry when boys just keep getting the brakes beat off of them. You know, Minnesota comes into this game 8-2, and two, but I told you when we started that Minnesota is Minnesota. It's so bad that Wisconsin didn't even bring the axe with them, bruh. They figured, hey, until these duds start winning games, we won't even bring the axe. Let's move on to the next ball game. Now, let's go out to the Pac-12, where number 17, Arizona State, goes to the Rose Bowl to play number 14, UCLA. Now, Arizona State wins this game 38-33 and wraps up the Pac-12 South Championship. Now, they'll go out back to the, to the Rose Bowl to play the Duns from Palo Alto and play Stanford for all the marbles in the Pac-12 in a couple of weeks. Now, Taylor Kelly goes to work on these boys by ground and by air. He had uh, 99 yards on the ground and a touchdown and 225 yards in the air and a touchdown. Went to work on these boys. Now, I picked UCLA to win this game because I figured Brett Hundley was going to go to work like he always does. I mean, he, he, put, he, put his, he put it in business. He did. He had 253 yards and two touchdowns, but he threw a dull pick. You can't turn the ball over in games like this. But I want everybody to remember this kid, Miles Jack, freshman linebacker from UCLA. Not only does he play linebacker, but they line him up at running back. On Saturday, he had 86 yards and a touchdown. Can you say, Charles Woodson, in a couple of years, this done is the real deal? He could be a legitimate Heisman Trophy winner or a legitimate Heisman Trophy candidate because he's playing both ways. Ain't too many Duns doing that. Let's move on to the next ball game. Let's go down to the SEC. Well, number eight, Mizzou, shows up to Vault Hemingway Stadium to play the number 24 Ole Miss Rebels. Now, Mizzou beat the brakes off these boys 24-10. to But going into this game, all Mississippi had to do was play with house money. They were 7-3 and three coming into this ball game, bro. That means they're already bowl eligible. They already overachieved. They got nothing to lose. They come in on a four-game winning streak, and these done just laid down and died. Why? Because they Mississippi. Say it with me. Mississippi is Mississippi, bruh. Let's move on to the next ball game. Let's stay down in the SEC. Well, number 12, Texas A&M goes to Baton Rouge to play number 22, LSU in Death Valley, where opponents' dreams go to die, and so does the Heisman Trophy hopes of Johnny Manziel. Now, going into this ball game, Manziel had, had 19 straight starts where he put up more than 300 total yards of offense. In this ball game, LSU went to work on him, bruh. They held his dog to 16 of 41 passes. 224 yards and a touchdown, but he got sacked twice and threw two dull picks. Can't win ball game, turn the ball over. Now, Zach Mettenberg on the other side was efficient. Came out there, went 11 of 20, put up 193 yards and two touchdowns. Threw two touchdowns to my man Jarvis Landry that had 87 yards catching. Now, they killed him on the ground because Terrence McGee, Went to work on these boys. Had a career high, 149 yards and a touchdown. And then my man Jeremy Hill had another 76 yards. Now, Mike the Tiger by the fourth quarter was laying in his cage with his feet up, his paws in his crouch like old Doug Al Bundy. Let's move on to the next ball game. Let's go down to Stillwater and talk about the game I've been telling you Duns about all year long. Number four, Baylor. Shows up to play the number 10 Oklahoma State Cowpokes. Now, I told you, Don, that the problem going into this ball game was Baylor was 9-0. and And they were Baylor, bruh. They had lights and cameras all over campus. These Duns been dating 10s. Some of these Duns got 12s this week. 
when they've been relegated to day threes and fours. All of a sudden, they got a ball game to play on Saturday, and nobody study film because everybody studying the 10 they've been hanging out with all week. Now, my man Clint Shelf went to work on these boys from, from, from Oklahoma State. He had 370 yards, three touchdowns. He was 19 of 25 on these boys. Efficient. They put up more than 594 yards on Baylor on Saturday night. It was done. Now, all the dogs at Baylor running around on campus today trying to call the 10 and the 10 and change the phone number because you got to be 10 and 0 in order to talk to the 10. So now they're trying to holler at the threes and fours. And guess what? The threes and fours got an attitude this morning, bruh. So now they're talking to the zeros. It's your man, Jay Graves Report, from the jgravesreport.com. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at jgravesreport so you can holler at your boy.